Alright, hello guys. Kumusta kayo? Isang mapagpalang araw po sa lahat. So, maybe, uh, perhaps, uh, may ilan sa ating mga kababayan dyan na nakaka-experience ng anxiety, depression, di ba? Mga nagwo-worry sa trabaho, sa siguridad ng buhay, sa pamilya, dahil po sa mga nangyayari ngayon sa ating mundo. So, maging tayo din po, maging ako, ay may mga worries din po. Pero, mas maigi po na ay po ay manalangin palagi sa ating Panginoon for today's uh, video po mga kapatid ay atin pong uh, panuorin ang ways on how to deal with anxiety so napakagandang video po nito so sama-sama po ta- nating panuorin ito mga kapatid kasi napakalaking bagay po nito nang sa ganun ay maibsan ang ating mga dinadalang problema ating mga pag-worries para mabawasan po ito mga mahal na kapatid ano kasi Uh, talagang hindi po uh, maganda ang mga nangyayari ngayon sa mundo hindi pa nga po tapos ang uh, COVID-19 virus ay meron na nang pong monkeypox at dagdag pa itong gulo ng uh, Ukraine, Russia ito naman ngayon yung uh, gulo sa pagitan ng US ng Taiwan at ng China at saka itong bago lamang po mga patid itong uh, nangyayaring kaguluhan sa Israel at saka sa Palestinian di ba? So mga kapatid, uh, uh, kagaya po ng ating advocacy na sharing is caring, ay patuloy po tayong mag upload o magbibigay sa inyo ng mga videos na makatulog po nang sa ganun ay maibsa natin ang ating mga problema, kung paano ba malalampasan ang mga nangyayari ngayon sa mundo, yung ating mga depression dyan, ating mga anxieties, di ba? So malaking factor po tagla, talaga na uh, makapagbigay tayo ng information or ng mga Uh, what you call it, mga videos makapa, makapag uh, share tayo ng mga content na kagaya nito na makatulong po talaga para sa ating lahat. So kapatid ako ay makatulong sa iyong video ito ano? so kung ba pa rito sa channel ko, sana huwag mong kalimutan mag-like, mag-comment, mag-subscribe at i-click ang ating notification button So tara po atin pong panoorin ang video Maraming salamat po, God bless po sa inyo na. The social media magnifies the huge gap between our dreams and reality. According to DrugWatch, about 40 million American adults have an anxiety disorder. According to the National Alliance of Mental Illness, this makes anxiety disorder the most common mental illness in America. Anxiety is actually quite common. What are we all worried about? Clothes, haircuts, children, money, cars, the weather, in the end we realize that worrying about it changes nothing. Still, this does not stop people from worrying. If anything, it just makes them feel bad for worrying and then worry some more about their worrying habits. It's a vicious circle of worries. The bad news is, there is no limit to what a person can worry about. As long as you are breathing and living, challenges will crop up. But avoiding anxiety is very important. Not doing so can lead to depression and other mental health diseases. According to Healthline, anxiety disorder can cause rapid heart rate, palpitation, and chest pain. You may also be at an increased risk of high blood pressure and heart disease. If you already have heart disease, anxiety disorder may raise the risk of coronary events. How then do we stop worrying or deal with anxiety? In today's video, I am going to share with you 15 ways to deal with anxiety. If you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. Do your best People often aim for perfection, which makes them susceptible to anxiety over whether they will get the perfect result they desire. When they do not, it can still lead to depression. It is like setting yourself up on both ends for destruction. Your anxiety over outcome causes you unhappiness and the ultimate imperfect result will also still cause you sorrow. This is why it is best to just do your best. Doing your best is the only criteria. The result will not matter. Only the fact that you did your best. Imagine how much better you would have felt all those years if you had known this sooner. 2. Accept you can't control everything It's okay to feel powerless. Someone's father can have cancer and go for surgery and he will sit outside in the waiting room helpless. There is often nothing you can do to change events in your favor. Fate wills it and it can be so frustrating. 
Anxiety starts when you don't just accept the reality and carry on. You will be strongly hoping and believing in a reality that never seemed to come. The more you hope, the more anxiety you will have. Accept what you can't change and everything. Do what you can and leave the rest. Everything good will come. 3. Learn what triggers your anxiety. For some people, it can be their relationship. If this is you, your relationship is not healthy at all and should be cut off immediately. It is expedient that you don't wait to see what happens. It will only get worse. If you are so abused in a relationship that you have anxiety in the relationship, that relationship is not for you. If it is a particular place, stop going there. Some strong memories are usually attached to such places and memories are hard to forget. 4. Talk to people. It can be your best friend. You can share with them what causes your anxiety. It can be work-related or something else. It can even be an inheritance that gives you anxiety. Your peace is very important. Work hard to protect it at all costs. When you are at peace, you think more clearly and you see all the angles and you don't feel any pressure. Talk to your family too. Let them help you heal. You deserve love. You deserve to be peaceful and happy. 5. Try counting down from 10 slowly. The idea is that as you count down slowly, your breathing slows and your heartbeat will slow too so that you can come back to normal. Sometimes when you are anxious, your heart will race. It can raise so much you can actually feel pain. Why are you so worried? At least you are still alive. What of people who have died? How about the people who are currently hospitalized over various ailments? Are you not much better off? Sometimes seeing these people can bring your situation into perspective. You are in your 20s. You have a job, have a car, have a great apartment, savings worth over $300,000, have a dream, and a greet to fight for it. What are you so worried about? Even if this doesn't describe you, you still really don't have as much to worry about as you think. 6. Maintain a positive attitude daily. A good way to do this is by placing a framed message at your workstation. It can read, you have got this or I am legend. You need to see yourself positively and be confident in your own abilities to create change in your life. 7. Take deep breath. Who would have thought just breathing was the key? But it is. Just breathe. Inhale and exhale very slowly. If you were anxious about something and you just breathe, you will realize that your mind starts to concentrate on breathing instead on the issue. You actually feel much better. Even when you are angry, breathing slowly still does some tricks. Deep breaths are very important for maintaining a healthy emotional balance. Whenever anxiety wants to set in, breathe. As you breathe, you can count down from 10 slowly in your mind. 20 minutes of breathing this way every day can do wonders to your anxiety. 8. Limit alcohol intake. It can actually aggravate your anxiety and lead to panic attacks. Panic attacks are not pretty. 9. Exercise daily. Everyone likes exercise, okay? Maybe some people. If you exercise a lot, it can actually help you with your anxiety. The heart will pump blood better when you undertake an active, physical, exerting activity. This boosts your heart health and reduces the risk of heart diseases. More importantly, it takes your mind off things and helps you build mental stamina. This mental stamina is actually what helps you checkmate anxious thoughts. 10. Get enough sleep. A person who doesn't get enough sleep is already setting himself or herself up for a bad mood throughout the day. According to research by the University of Pennsylvania, researchers found that subjects who were limited to 4.5 hours of sleep a night for one week reported feeling more stressed, angry, sad, and mentally exhausted. When the subject resumed normal sleep, they reported a dramatic improvement in mood. Sleeping well actually reduces your likelihood of anxiety. 11. Use aromatherapy. There are some plants and wood that have amazing scents that are also soothing when inhaled. Typical examples are lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood. It can be in oil form, incense, or candle. 
I recommend incense more though. Just being in such a room for 30 minutes can make you feel more relaxed. The more of the aroma you inhale, the more it will work on you. If you are allergic to these things, please do not under any circumstance inhale them. You will only create more problems that you will become anxious about. In the end, we all can choose whether to believe that everything will be fine or to worry about it. Even if we know that whether or not we worry about it, what will happen will still happen. 12. Watch your favorite TV show. It sounds like a joke, but this can actually be a great way to take your mind off things. What if you started watching Game of Thrones from the beginning? Thinking about the fictional world instead of the real one for such time can grant you respite from having to deal with your reality immediately. However, after watching the show, ensure you assure yourself that there was nothing to worry about in the first place. If you don't, you may also start becoming anxious about trying to escape your anxiety by resorting to watching your favorite TV show. 13. Write down your thoughts When you write down your anxiety, you will be amazed at what you will find, especially if you read it over some time. I want you to know that it can all sound so foolish and impertinent when you read it after some time, but writing it all helps you feel refreshed and ready to carry on with life. You should write more often. 14. Have a healthy daily routine There are a lot of things you can do. You can water a flower or jog in the morning. You can also make time to spend an hour or more by yourself in meditation. This routine will help you put your mind at rest and in tune with what you want. If you have a project, write out the project milestones and include tasks in your family's routine. Be very struck with it. Don't miss one single routine. Think about all the routines you have. Think about all the privileges and decide to try to be happy for yourself. Number 15. Get help from your doctor. According to Healthline, if your anxiety is severe enough that your mental health practitioner believes you would benefit from medication, there are a number of directions to go. Depending on your symptoms, discuss your concerns with your doctor. The doctor will prescribe the relevant drugs and give you a dosage and a timeline within which you are to take the dosage. With a prescription, you can then go to the dispensary and collect the drugs prescribed. Anxiety is something you can beat with the help of loved ones, friends, your doctor and a healthy mindset to change and growth. You are going to be fine.